Hello, everyone. So we've already started learning about adjusting entries. And in this video today, we're going to learn about some additional types of adjusting entries related to supplies and long-term assets. So we're gonna start first talking about supplies. So we learned that adjusting entries are situations where the payment of cash happens at a different time than the revenue or expense. And uh, one of the situations is where there's an expense where um, you pay for the expense first and then use it later. Well, another example of this would be supplies. Okay, so if you know whether that's office supplies, such as pens and paper and paper clips, or um, you know if it's an auto shop, auto supplies, you know motor oil and things like that. Um, there's every different business has different types of supplies, but it, for accounting purposes, we all uh, think of it the same way. Okay, and the key thing to remember when it comes to supplies is that. Um, they can take different forms depending on what phase in the life of the supply you're talking about, right? So first, when you first buy supplies, for example, if you're talking about a hairdresser and you're buying shampoo, right? The shampoo looks like this, right? Um, now at that point in time, they are unused and they're you know sitting there like on the store shelf because they are going to be used in the future, therefore they have a future benefit to the store. Therefore, when they're in this phase being unused, they are considered to be an asset, right? Because they haven't been used that they're, they're gonna be used in the future, so that's a future benefit, okay? So that account name supplies, means supplies in this phase of the life, okay? Meaning unused, they're going to be used in the future, there's a future benefit, there's an asset. Now that is very different than what supplies look like when they are used. So for example, when the hairdresser goes to shampoo their customer's hair, right? It doesn't look like this anymore. Right now it looks like a bunch of bubbles in their hair that's going to get washed down the drain. Well, that is very different than these unused supplies. Why? Because at this point they are used, right? And as we've learned, goods and services used in the process of generating revenue, those are expenses. So when supplies go into this phase here, they are considered an expense. They are being used, okay? So that's why it's very important to pay attention to account names because supplies and supplies expense are very different in accounting. One means the unused supplies that have a future benefit. One means the supplies that have been used, okay? So, um. The thing about supplies though, think about it this way, right? If you're a hairdresser, right? You're just going about your business every day and you're shampooing a bunch of customers. You're not really paying attention to how much shampoo you're using, okay? You just use a bunch of it throughout the day. And so you're not gonna stop and measure it and record a journal entry for that. Nobody realistically has time for that. Instead, what we do is um, we do a different process that makes the accounting a little bit easier when it comes to um, figuring out how much supplies did we use, okay? And that process is called, um, in the book, they call it the three-step process for adjusting entries. Now, I want you guys to really pay attention and try to learn and understand this because we're going to be using this process multiple times throughout the semester. You're gonna see this again. I'm gonna keep referring to this three-step process. So I want you to kind of remember what, what I'm talking about, okay? So what the three-step process is, is we use the ledger, to help us figure out how much of the supplies did we use, okay? So the first 
step in the three-step process is to deter determine what the account balance is, meaning what is in the account before any adjusting entry. And another way you can think of this at is, is what were the supplies available during the month? Because if you think about it, every time we buy supplies, we're going to record the journal entry. So it's going to show up in the ledger. Okay. So step one is just looking at what has been recorded in the ledger. What, what are all the purchases of supplies that have been recorded in the ledger? Okay. Based on that, how much was available to be used? Okay, step two is to determine, well, what should the balance be? Well, the balance should be whatever is actually left at the end of the month. Okay, so how do we figure out how much is left at the end of the month? Well, we count it, right? We look at what's in our storeroom and we count any of the unused supplies. Okay, and whatever was unused, at the end of the month, that's what should be in the ledger, right? The ledger should tell us how much is left at the end, okay? Because keep in mind, we, we haven't been recording every time we use shampoo, right? And we don't have time for that. We're using it like all day, every day. Um, we don't have time to stop and measure how much we use. Instead, let's just wait till the end of the month and count how much is left. Then, Theoretically, right? Whatever, whatever we started with minus whatever was left, well, that must have been what was used, right? So we must have used something, and that's why the balance would have gone down from what was available to what was left. Well, that's what your adjusting entry should be. Your adjusting entry should record what was used. Right, so what was used is gonna be whatever the difference is between what was available versus what is left. Okay, so let's attach some numbers to this to, to see if it kind of makes sense, right? So here's our example. Um, it says on December 1st, the company had $500 of office supplies on hand. December 15th, the customer, the, I'm sorry, the company purchased 2,400 of office supplies for cash. And then on December 31st, the office manager counted the supplies remaining at the end of the year and determined that there are 1,525 left, okay? So let's go through this, okay? We start first with the company had $500 of office supplies on hand. So that's what we had available from the previous month, right? So we did this whole process, remember, with adjusting entries, we do it at the end of every month. So that means at the end of November, we counted how much supplies we had left, and whatever we had left at the end of November becomes our beginning balance on December 1st, right? So our beginning balance, I'm going to put BEG, that sounds for beginning, right? That was 500. Okay, that's what we started out the month with. Then on December 15th, we purchased 2,400 more. So that we would have recorded that purchase of supplies. So therefore, what we had available or what is the balance in the ledger at step one, right, before adjusting entries is going to be $2,900. Okay, that's what we had available. Step two then is what should the balance be? Well, the balance should be whatever is left. So it says here on December 31st, the office manager counted the supplies remaining at the end of the year and, deter and determined that there's 1,525 left. So the balance should be 1,525, okay? So how do we get from a balance of 2,900 down to 1525. Well, keep in mind, this is an asset account and debits are increases, credits are decreases. So we see our balance went from 2900 down to 1525. That means we need to decrease the supplies account, right? It's too high. Why is it too high? Because we haven't shown that, we haven't recorded the 
supplies that we've used. So we have to record that. And we're going to record that in our adjusting entry. So now, how much did supplies decrease? Well, if you get out your calculator and record and figure out 2,900, which is step one, minus 1,525, which is step two, that gets us to 1,375, which is step three. Okay, step three is your adjusting entry, right? Step three brings the balance to what it should be, okay? So in this case, our adjusting entry on December 31st, we need to credit the supplies account. So we're gonna put supplies here. That's gonna be a credit of 1375, right? We're adjusting the supplies account down. And why did the supplies account go down? Well, it went down because we used, used these supplies. And as we know, supplies that are used, well, that is supplies expense. And if you look at your debit credit rules, expenses are always debits. So it's got to be that. Okay. So that is your adjusting entry for supplies and how we use the three-step process to account for supplies.